In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to combine some of the tools that you're learning about to clean up a smartphone video. I have a clip I was given from someone, which is a very talented young woman uh, playing the violin in the street in Israel. And so what I'd like to do is clean it up, and I'll show you why it needs some help. I'll take this video and then we'll maximize it to the width of the screen so you can see it. Uh, first of all, it has some clipping issues in the audio track. The easiest way to get to that is we have a lesson dealing with the audio mixing room. I click there and I can simply uh, take this track and on this wedge I can move it down until I have all the yellow disappear. And in fact, I'm going to move it even down farther than that so it doesn't override my commentary. We'll soften it quite a bit here. And there we have it. Now let's look at the actual other issues we have with this particular clip. I'm going to play it and you'll see and hear them. The first issue I have is it was filmed from too far away. So we need to find a way to zoom in on this young woman and her talent. The second issue I have is that when these women walk by, the photographer decides to focus on the building across the street rather than on the young woman. And then she comes back to the young woman but doesn't put her in the center of the picture. So we're going to deal with that issue first. How do we focus on the talent? I'm going to turn to a lesson we have called Crop and Zoom. We'll highlight the clip and we'll choose the Tools menu and go to our Power Tools. In the Power Tools menu, one of the options is My Crop and Zoom. And if I drag to the right here, I see that I can activate it by clicking on this button. So I'll do that. Now I have my Crop and Zoom window pop up on the screen. What we're going to do is we deal with keyframes. We have a lesson on keyframes as well, but we start with a keyframe on the left side. So what I'm going to do is at that moment in time, I'm going to shrink the video, zoom it in, and center it on the young woman. And that looks pretty good. This is what I will see here. The blue dot is the center of my screen. And so I set that video. And then I'm going to click over a little bit and we'll move. It looks good there. It looks good there. Even though they're walking in front of her here, it's still focused on her. Now she's a little bit to the left at this point, so I'll click on the diamond to add a keyframe at this point in time, and then move it, adjust it so she's more centered. That's pretty good. And uh, then we'll uh, click over further. Uh, that's acceptable. And Let's move this. Let's add another one here just for fun, and we'll we'll move it a little back more toward her. Okay, and then the women come in front of her, and the whole scene changes. We'll deal with that in the next issue, what to do during this segment of the video, and then we move along, and it shifts back to her eventually, right about right here in this area. Okay, all right. So what I want to do right about here is I want to change the focus. So I'll add a keyframe. And oops, I needed to click on the diamond here. There we go. There's my keyframe. We'll move this keyframe over here, and we're focusing on the young woman and her talent. And then we'll uh, go back here, and now we need to shift it back. And then click on here. That's okay. That's okay. Now it's getting off, off of her again. We'll click here and we'll add another keyframe. There we go. And keep her in the center of the picture. Move over again. And uh, add a keyframe. Oops. For some reason, it doesn't want to necessarily add it. There it is. Okay, and that should be good enough for the duration. I think that is. I'll click on OK. So now what we have is we have it focused from the beginning 
where she's in the picture a lot more just on her okay and then we have her at the end okay so it's focusing on the talent that solves one of the problems now another issue that we have is this distraction area this is a place where the uh, photographer decided to move away from her and we'll start right about here and now I need to I need to mark that place so I'm going to right click and so have show clip marker show up and that adds this clip marker track and now with this highlighted I'm going to right click here and do add a clip marker and I will say um, insert pictures here and click on OK and then the other thing I want to do is I want to move the scrubber over to the place where we see the talent again right about okay uh, maybe there that would be a good place or I can use my left and right direction key maybe there is where I want to the want the want it to end and then I'll add another clip marker right click add clip marker and I'll say um, stop uh, pictures okay and click on okay so what I'm going to do in the next video is we're going to go ahead and we're going to layer some images over this distraction uh, so it looks like we did something intentional uh, to show not simply a drift away uh, but something that looks a little better and you'll see how we combine some more tools we've learned about in the next segment of this two-part series Thank you.